I'm Richard Samara and this is my wife Diane. We're here in Alabama for one year schooling at Air Command Staff College in Maxwell Air Force Base. We're from the Philippines uh, and uh, before we came here we've been praying for a church where we can help them, where we can also learn from them. God is impressing into my heart. He told me words and I wrote these words and handed over to Pastor John. Call your people, gather your people, and start a prayer ministry because I will bless you with physical and spiritual blessing. I believe the heartbeat of God is for all the people to intercede, you know, to have a prayerful life because we need to intercede for our country, the nations, the tribes and tongues to, to come and have this relationship with Him. And prayer is like empowering you, empowering you with the Holy Spirit to move forward another level, another level until you reach what is the purpose and the meaning of your life. You're praying for God's desire and yeah, it's it's immeasurable. I'm I'm blown out of uh, the amazing things that God would just reveal and when you prayed for it. Prayer is hearing from God. It is not more on what do you want. You know, your petition, your request. Yeah. Prayer is more on hearing from God. And when you hear God, it's like, come on, intercede for your nation. Intercede for your country. My, uh, you know, I commit myself when back in the Philippines to insert, intercede for the human trafficking. So every afternoon, I pray for it. The human trafficking, those children. So every time I watch a movie or I watch a news yes. about human trafficking, I cried out. I started to kneel down and cried out. The result of, of prayer is, I believe, spiritual discipline. You, you will position yourself when you will always hear the voice of God. You will position yourself when you were so hungry in the Word of God. And you will position yourself when you are so dependent. dependent on the Word of God and His presence.